Hey guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Back with a, a, a kind of a special find. Uh, I made a trip out to Premier Gourmet on the Boulevard and Maple, and I came across a couple of really good beers out there, and I wanted to kind of let you guys know sooner than later in case you guys were thinking about maybe stocking up for the weekend and getting some uh, beers. Um, besides the beer I have on today, I found a, a new Mike Keller release. Um, Vic, Vic Secret Eyes, something like that. I found the new Collective Arts IP number five. I found um, a couple of, uh, an Empire um, uh, double IPA that I was going to have on here, but I decided to have this. Uh, today, I'm going to take a look at Power Tools by uh, Industrial Arts. <clears throat> and it's an IPA, Power Tools IPA. Um, it says it's their big brother to their Tools of the Trade IPA. But right from the can, uh, it says bigger, louder, energized. It says power tools, reeks of grapefruit and pine, riding on a firm bitterness right on through uh, every sip. I'm sorry, I can't really see this well with my glasses. It's like, it's a red font on a gray background. I'm really sorry. I'm going to try to read this, the rest of this. We just keep adding layers of hoppy goodness uh, to this one all the way through our process. And we think you'll notice, uh, do try this at home. So 7.1% alcohol by volume. I did not find any IBUs and uh, I came with a nicely packaged on 2818. So this is 222. This is only two weeks old. So I'm really excited about seeing what this beer uh, really looks like. Um, so let's see what this looks and smells like, huh? I'm kind of excited. Mm. Yes, sir. Uh, there is absolutely no mistaking the grapefruit on that one. Let's see what it looks like. Now, we had uh, Wrench on here uh, a f like a month and a half ago. Um, that was their New England IPA. So uh, I'm going to leave a little bit extra in here. Again, this is the uh, Power Tools IPA by Industrial Arts. Look at this. I mean, um, as clear as you're going to get from an IPA, right? With this wonderfully grape, it almost smells like a kind of like a processed grapefruit. It doesn't smell like a natural grapefruit or a grapefruit juice, but it's like a, a grapefruit that you would get from the hops. Um, smells a little on the malty side. Yeah. A little bit of lemon in there as well. The lemon is not hard to smell. <clears throat> so, while carbonated, I didn't get much of a head on this, even for being uh, fairly fresh. So, let's see how this thing tastes, right? Woo! All right, so... Um, right off the bat, I think you can tell this is a very nicely, um, thoughtfully crafted beer. Um, doesn't seem to be anything less than, um, you know, top notch here in the quality. So you're getting lots of hoppy characters to it, whether it's lemon, whether it's the grapefruit, whether it's this mango-ish sort of presence. Do you know what I mean? But I feel as though the all of these notes are they're writing on a nice, not a stiff, but like a very um, underrepresented, like a multi backbone to it, <clears throat> which plays nicely. Uh, honestly, it's kind of like a nice little shelf to present these hops. Um, but they're not super exploding and well rounded. It's almost got like this kind of like this very short-lived uh, flavor profile. It's like a resiny sort of, of flavor to it. A little on the darker side, a little on the, that spicy side. And it just kind of, it kind of, it's a, it's a curt and abrupt kind of end to the process. So. Yeah. You get that 
you know, you get a nice American IPA. Um, very hoppy, doesn't stick around too much. It's not a juice over bomb, anything like that. And it's just really, really nice. Let me mute that for you for a second. Uh, and what you're left with is this really nicely drinkable IPA from Industrial Arts. Um, I'm really glad I took a chance on this. Um, this is not going to be a hard beer to finish at all. I got a four pack. So I was really happy that I was able to get something other than, you know, a New England IPA from, you know, this name and um, enjoy it. So I look forward to getting more beers from Industrial Arts. And I have another one. I have their um, I have their pills um, out there as well. So I only have one can of those. But will not be my last industrial arts on this channel. So um, I enjoyed the beer. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, if you guys are going to make a stop out at uh, Premier Gourmet, uh, they have a lot uh, not on the shelf. You got to go into their cooler uh, in the back where the where the growler fill is. Go into the cooler. They have it all ready to go. So kind of bypass the shelves if you're if you're going there uh, with a purpose of getting this or any of those other beers. Just go right back into the walk-in cooler and they're all there on the pallets ready to rock. So I hope this helped you guys uh, find and uh, purchase beer on Buffalo. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Leave me a thumbs up or a comment and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.